Well, I'm welcoming you to the very first update in this month of September. Today is the very first day in this month. And uh, right here on the Buzz UG, I want to wish you a very happy new month. Hey, good morning. How are you doing today? My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, the death of Geno Eli Tumwine is fading away. We are now bursting into another issue in the country. And by the way, this one is so big to an extent that everyone is going to be affected if people decide to take it on. Uh, what I'm talking about is the issue of tribalism. First of all, the people that have been celebrating the death of Geno Eli Tumwine have been affiliated to the Baganda. Some people are trying to insinuate that it's the Baganda all over social media celebrating Geno Eli Tumine's death and so they are promoting tribalism. But we have seen other people in videos speaking in some other languages celebrating the death of the big man Geno Eli Tumine. So for me, I cannot say the Baganda are the ones behind the celebrations on social media. Now, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has also commented on this matter. Bobby Wine says they practice tribalism publicly and institutionally, but they are not ashamed to blame those who expose and speak about it. Hashtag hypocrites. In other words, they are just hypocrites. I think Bobby Wine right here is talking about President Museveni's government. And some people have been saying that before Bobby Wine joined the politics, there was no tribalism in this country. Uh, for example, this guy called Tumusime Crispus, he commented on Bobby Wine's post questioning that before you coming to join politics, there was no tribalism. Don't you ask yourself why? And then Bobby Wine replied him that it was there, only that those in politics then were either part of it or had no balls to speak about it. Those who dared to speak about it were quickly silenced. Nobody can silence me. He even wrote that statement in capital letters to show you that he's serious. Nobody can silence me. I have the same right to be in the national politics just like anybody else from any other tribe. Well, there you go. That is the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, addressing this issue of tribalism that is getting serious in the country. So guys, this issue of tribalism is really getting to another level. Uh, some people in government are saying that it's the opposition promoting tribalism and the people in opposition are saying President Museveni's government is behind this whole issue of tribalism. But right here on the Buzz UG, we say no to tribalism. We are one people in our beautiful country, Uganda. Let's not listen to this nonsense that some small group of people is trying to promote. <music> Well, recently, uh, the Minister of ICT and National Guidance, Honorable Chris Bariomosi, revealed that government is going to take action on all those celebrating the death of Geno Eli Tumine, and reports indicate that they have already started arresting people. Now, the latest person to be abducted by security officers is a young lady called Tracy Manule Bobby Holick from Nasana. That's the lady in that video right there. It said that officers from the CMY department earlier this week abducted this lady whose video made rounds on social media as she jubilated the death of ex-security minister Geno Eli Tumwine. According to reports, Tracy Manule Bobby Holick was handpicked at her national residence by operatives dressed in plain clothes, bundled her into a Nampoles drone and drove her to a known destination. Well, it is said that all her communication gadgets were confiscated and uh, they are being used by her captors to trace for more culprits suspected to be in the clique that celebrates whenever government officials die. Well, it should be remembered that Tracy is a staunch supporter of His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamo aka Bobby Wine and the National Unity Platform Party. Now, Uganda police has promised to arrest that guy, uh, believed to be an activist of President Museveni's party, NRM, after dropping his trousers in a video circulating on different social media platforms. 
This man was questioning the failure by the Kabak of Buganda, Ronald Mwenda Mutebi, to mourn the former Minister of Security, General Eli Tumwine. He was also questioning why some people he calls Buganda are talking too much on social media. And according to reports, Uganda police is hunting for this guy and very soon he will be arrested. Well, let's hope he's going to be arrested as promised. Otherwise, it's very unfortunate to see such an old gentleman behave in that manner. We have again lost another university student affiliated to Kampala International University. This student has been identified as Elvin Sarah Nakaiza. She was pursuing a diploma in clinical medicine and community health. Sarah is reported to have succumbed to a brain tumor. Her death comes two days after the death of another Makere University fresh graduate, Tasha Lule Konkai. Uh, Tasha graduated in May this year and uh, right now she's no more. However, the cause of her death is not yet known. Well, it's very sad. May God comfort their families and may their souls rest in peace. Kira Municipality Member of Parliament, Horebo Semu Junganda, has apologized to the family of the fallen former Security Minister, General Eli Tumine. Semu Junganda noted that he understands what General Tumine's family is going through right now. However, he explains that General Tumine's family must understand that once their person was given a public office, he was to be subjected to the public scrutiny. That is why, when he died, the public had to still question some of the statements he made while holding a public office. And finally, Uganda police has arrested Prophet Kintu a pastor at a Holy Empowerment Church in Hoima, who was caught on camera beating people in church with the so-called Holy Cairns. He's said to have been beating ashes after accusing them of failing to serve as expected of them. In the video circulating on different social media platforms, Prophet Kintu is heard calling out their names before ordering them to lie down. Thanks to social media, otherwise I don't think we would have known such is happening in the country. <music> Well, that's the latest updates I have for you on the Buzz UG. And thanks so much for listening in to the last story. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.